Today is the middle of July, uh, January uh, 2024. So this looks like it's been about a year and a half when we started this uh, air layering. And I'm going to check it out. I used to just cut it off and then see how things are, but I think I've gotten wiser. I'm going to take this off. Because a lot of times, you know, you do this little finger test and then I've been fooled by all the weeds uh, root that went in there. So I'm just going to carefully take this off and then before cutting, if this is rooted, I'll cut it off. If not, I'll put, uh, put it back. Okay. So anyway, this is like an update of a uh, air layering that I started a year and a half ago. Look here, you see this white thing? That's possibly the root of the boxwood. Well, isn't this exciting? So, yeah, it could be a good indicator. Very good. So, what should we do here? We should take this. Yeah, it did get started, but it should be full of roots, right? It does not look promising. These little ones here are probably the weeds. Yeah. So, well, at least there was some started, but not enough to support this, right? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and put a bigger container on there. So I'm going to put a back, but I'm going to take this branch off and then put a bigger container. And because, oh yeah, see, we do have a little bit started, but not enough to support this. So if I were to cut this off and put it in a container, you'll die because this thing is just too much for this little bit of root to uh, try to support. So I'm going to take this off, thin this out, and put it back. Okay, so I marked the original start date and then today's date. And then um, probably going to wait another year or so. So this uh, project could take years. Um, well, a lot of, occasionally they take right away, but this one did not. Uh, I still got my uh, tree that I did a dozen on, and it was not doing well early or middle of last year. So I'm still waiting on that too. But um, this is the Japanese boxwood air layering that was started almost a year and a half ago. Okay, we're not done yet. Let's, well, this is the branch that I took off, right? Let's pretend that you went to the nursery and you found one that uh, growing like this in a can. Of course, it has no roots, so we have to do the pretending game. Well, we are going to remove some of these so that we could see the line. Remember, I'm always talking about the line, the main line that defines the structure. Okay, this one here is too big. This is our main line. So, let's go ahead and take this off. 
Okay, this one here is the wrong size for, or too stubby. This one is better, so I'm gonna take this side off. Okay, what we want is as clean of a line as possible. So this one here goes up this way, this way, or we could take this one off and go up this way. Um, I think in terms of interest on this one, it's probably better there. So I'm going to cut it here. This is much too big, so I'm going to cut it off there. Okay, so now we start to see a nice clean line. Uh, the taper, and then we need a uh, apex. So I'm going to clean up a little bit in here so you can see what we have to work with. Uh, if I don't run into the focus problem, right in here, we go up and then it goes this way and that way. So, which way do we want to go? Uh, with this the way it goes, a lot of times this is better, but I think this one is relatively uh, smooth line, so I'm gonna go with this side here. And then, when you're up on top, see, now you got this taper and very light movement it's more of a upright but it's it's got this great taper now this would have been a good exercise if it was alive right but it there's still a possibility you could make this into a cutting uh, this is going to be a cutting i would cut this off and I think this is okay, but usually we want to put in a cut like that. Okay, and then um, what you do, what I like to do is I put this in water overnight with willow, and then it will transmit the hormones, and then maybe does a better job of rooting. Uh, and then the next day I put the rooting hormone, and then put it in a container, and then put a, a water bottle on with the bottom cut and the cap removed as your uh, little greenhouse. And many times something like this will take. It's not 100%, but it, there's good enough chance that it's worth doing. So like this one too, That's if I cut this off and cut this off, see the movement in there, right? Mm, well, why let any of this go to waste? We want to look for a clean line. Movement. Not much of a taper, but something this young tend to root better. So if you cut across and do what we did on that one, it'll take. So here's another one. See, there was a question, uh, how do I visualize things so soon? Well, you do this a uh, hundred thousand times, then you start to see a pattern, right? Well, I've been doing this for a long time, so. But this is one of the best way to practice because you really need to do a, a, a lot of them to get the hang of it, right? One more branch. So, see? Okay, so we got this much, a little bit of lesson out of this. Now, if you were to plant this, uh, like I said, and probably better if you waited till March rather than middle of July, but you should have about half of those take, sometime even more than that. So anyway, um, this lesson on the update of my air layering 
Um, Boxwood was not a success, but it wasn't a failure either. It's just slower than I had hoped. So anyway, um, this is Hero saying goodbye. Take the time and practice on these discarded pieces. And go ahead and try to get them rooted because there's just enough success rate in there that uh, it warrants the effort. Okay, see you again real soon in another chapter.